Spiral flute taps are ideal for closed hole threading. Just like a drill, the chips are directed out along the flutes. Spiral point taps are great for through hole threading as the chips are directed ahead of the tap. Hand taps do not offer consistent chip formation and therefore we don't use them very often. Form taps are the strongest thread type as the material is rolled into place instead of cutting. Here we are using a 3 quarter 10 spiral flute tap. This is the most versatile tap type as whether your hole is a through hole or a blind hole, one tap can do pretty much everything. Spiral flute taps do have their limitations however. Sometimes they are more prone to breakage simply due to the design. They also come at a premium. They are often the most expensive tap type. But all in all, it's worth it. If you've ever struggled to tap a blind hole, this is definitely going to solve a lot of your issues. Here's a machinist trick you probably haven't seen before. I'm going to use a paper towel to make the tap cut oversized. This can be useful if the part's going to be heat treated or plated. Taps can be purchased with different H limits to control this more precisely, but that won't make nearly as interesting of a video. The best quality threads are produced by thread milling. While it may seem complicated, it's actually pretty simple. Here we're machining a 3 quarter 14 NPT. In our cam software, we're going to set the compensation type to wear, which allows us to walk the thread in at the control. We're dropping to the bottom of the hole and we're climb milling out in one pass. As you can see here, this pitch specific thread mill can create the entire profile in just one revolution. Extra passes can be added in more difficult materials to extend tool life at the sacrifice of a little bit of time. Just about anything can be used as bullying fluid if you're creative. Okay, okay, put down your pitchforks. These calipers were a few bucks on Amazon. Here's a unique one. This is a caliper extender, and it does just what the name implies. It extends your caliper. This works great with an electronic caliper, as you can set zero to your master part, and then any reading that you take can just be a plus or minus from that zero. Backside chamfer tools are great for accomplishing more in one setup. Through hole operations can be completed such as deburring, chamfering, back spot facing with tools like the one you see here. A lot of these tools rely on a spring to apply pressure to the insert like the one you see here. Some are coolant driven and some are actuated by forward and reversing the spindle to open and close.